Shimmering sardines. Sardines, sardines, they're living in the sea. When served up in a salad, they're fantastic for your brains. Hello! Hi, Hello, yeah. everybody! Hello. Hello, children! Hello, classes! Welcome to this online field trip. Coming to you live from Newlyn in Cornwall, which is the very furthest south west part of the UK. I'm Sam, this is Sam as well. Hello. Now Newlyn is a little fishing village um, and they've been fishing here for years and years. And I know that some of you have been learning all about fish in your classrooms and the different type of fish that are caught around the UK. Well, today we are dockside. How cool is this? The sea is there, there's some bobbin boats and we're gonna find out all about local fishermen, Sam Lambourne and how he catches a particular type of fish, a special fish called Cornish sardine. Thank you so much for joining us, Sam. Pleasure. What are we going to find out today? Well, today we're going to learn about the sardine itself, what they look like, and also you're going to learn about how I catch them. And finally, you're going to learn out just how good they are for you to eat. They are really, really good for they you, are. aren't they? They're they brilliant. are very, They're very brilliant. tasty. We've also got a very yummy recipe for you to follow at home as well. So, so much coming up. Should we meet our schools? Yes. <laughs> OK, Come on. let's go over to our first school, which is Fuller School in the Shetland Islands, uh, where Miss Smith is there. Hello. Hello, Fuller School. Hi. <laughs> They're waving away. Uh, let's go over to our next school, St Andrew's School in Big House with Miss Riley's class. Hello, children. Hi, Hello, Miss Riley. <laughs> A lovely big cheer there, Sam. Lovely and let's go to St Thomas's School in Winchelsea where Mrs Westhead and her class are there waiting. Hello, children. Hello. Hi. 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 Oh, a lovely big shout there as well. Well, thank you so much all for taking part. And as I said at the very, very start, you have been already learning about sardines and fish as well. I think they could give you a run for your money on the old fish. <laughs> so let's go back over to St Andrew's School and find out what you have been learning. So Miss Riley, who do you have there and what have you learnt so far? In the ocean, sardines are eaten by bigger fish. Yes, that is amazing. In the ocean, sardines are eaten by bigger fish. Yes, yeah. They are. Yeah. Other fishes yeah. supper, aren't they? Everybody. What a great fact. <laughs> very, very good fact. Have we got another one, Miss Riley? Lots of people like sardines, even in stories like The Land the Witch and the Wardrobe. <gasps> That's a really great one. So lots of fish like sardines are used in yeah. stories like The Lion, The Witch and The Wardrobe. <laughs> That's so good. What a great fact. One more fact. Sardines contain lots of nutrients including iron and vitamin D. Wow, what a great fact, Jacob. So sardines have lots of nutrients in them including iron and vitamin D. Well, As we are. said, it's yes, full of yeah. loads of very, nutrients, very isn't it? Very, very good for you. It's very great. Good for you. Well done. What amazing fact. Thank you so much, St Andrews. Now, as I said, the fishermen around here in this area, in Newlyn, in Cornwall, have been fishing for hundreds and hundreds of years. I take it, Sam, you haven't been fishing for hundreds of years, but how long have you been fishing for? You're not that old. It sometimes feels like it, but about, <laughs> about 35 years. 35, 35 years. years. Wow. And we've been catching sardines for about 10 Ten years. Coming on for ten years. Fantastic. And is it a family business? Did your no, no, father do? no, no. I started uh, fishing. You know, I'm the first generation, as it were. And so you I just thought, it. right? I, I grew up do. just down the road, in a place called Mausel, which you may have heard of, okay. and we always had a boat as a family. And we started off with a little boat, and then we got a bigger boat, and then a bigger boat. And, and you've I'm got a couple of big boats, boats now, yeah. <laughs> we will find out about Sam's boat in just a while. Sam's boat is just over there behind us. Can't wait to get on it, I really can't. Good. Do you have to wear a particular outfit when you get on yeah. the boat? I mean, because it's such a wet job, we, we have to wear these waterproofs, which is not very nice on such a nice day as this. But very, very hot on a day like this. get absolutely soaked. So we wear trousers, a top, and we wear a life jacket, of course. That's kind of like you would wear if it's a rainy day walking to school, oh, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah. like a cagoule, but it's very big, thick, actually. Just keeps everything out. Yeah. But it's very hot to wear when it's such a nice day as this. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, you don't need to wear that much, do you? We won't no, no. put those on when we get on your boat. Yep. Now, as we mentioned, and I think it was Jacob that mentioned about the fish being really, really healthy for us. It's a sardines are a, an oily fish, aren't they? Yeah, Which makes them very special. Yeah, one of the most oily fish, and they're very high in this omega three, which I think everyone will have heard about, and that's very good for your heart your brain very good makes you learn <laughs> get that children <laughs> very good for your heart and for all you mums it's brilliant for 
when you're pregnant. When you're pregnant and when you're breastfeeding as yes, well. Yes, that's right. Fantastic. Yeah. Do you eat lots of sardines? Not lots, but we eat quite a few. Yeah, you yeah. catch a few anyway, as I've been told. <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's go to a little video now and let's watch Sam in action with his crew out fishing at night time, hoping to net themselves some shimmering sardines. Fishing for sardines. The sardine season starts around July and can last until February or March. Sam and his two crew members fish for sardines on his boat, the Lioness, in the Cornish Sea. The Lioness is a special kind of fishing boat for catching sardines. It's called a catamaran and has two parallel floats. Fishing for sardines happens at night time because that's when the fish swim closer to the surface. The lioness has a sonar on it to help Sam see where the sardines are under the sea. Sam needs this technology because the sardines are very nervous fish and if the boat creates lots of noise and light, it's easy to scare them away. The sonar scans the water and shows a picture on a screen. The red shapes are the schools of fish. When Sam has located a school of sardines, he and the crew set the nets. They have to do this very quickly. As it is dark, the fish don't see the nets and aren't scared, so they are much easier to catch. The nets circle the sardines. Then the crew slowly pull the fish up alongside the boat. The shape of the boat makes it very stable in the water, which helps when they have to pull up the heavy net full of shimmering sardines. The crew use a special pump to suck the fish out of the net and straight into the bins full of ice. They need to chill them straight away, keeping them cold so they are lovely and fresh when they arrive into store. Sam sometimes catches as many as 96,000 fish in one night. They weigh as much as 8 metric tonnes. That's heavier than a fully grown male elephant. After a long night's fishing, at around 2am, Sam and the crew take the boat back to Newlyn. The fresh sardines are unloaded onto the quayside, then a forklift truck puts them onto a refrigerated lorry which is waiting to collect the fish. Just 36 hours after being caught in the net, one of Sam's sardines could be on the counter in your local shop. Okay, so we are on Sam's boat, the Lioness. This Welcome is aboard. Thank you very much, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to take a look around. Before we do that, though, um, let's find out a little bit more about the season. So what is the season for catching sardines? The best time to catch sardines is in the autumn. Um, but we start actually next month, sort of towards the end of July, and then we fish right through till after Christmas, probably March at the very latest of next year. Okay. But the very best time is in the autumn. And why is that the best time? That's when the fish have got so much oil in them oh. and they taste so much better. That's when they've got these high omega-3s and so on. So really? that, that's why I think. So after that they, they taste wouldn't... They taste the very best. And by the time they get to March, then the oil is going down. Okay. But if I had to choose, that's what I would choose yeah. in the autumn. And when is the best time of day to fish for sardines? The best time, as you've seen on the video, is we go out at the end of the day just as it's getting dark is the very best time. And that's when the fish come up to the surface or tend to come up and they all bunch together in schools so that we can set our net around them and catch them. Fantastic. So that's the best time of day. So in the daytime though, you're just sitting here with your deck chair and enjoying this view. Take a look at this view, children. <laughs> this is pretty amazing. So do you get time to just enjoy this in the day? <laughs> Not a lot, but we, of course, we enjoy it all the time. And, um, you know, we get rather used to the view and so on. But Are you tinkering uh, with the boats having to Oh, there's always jobs to do. It. Yeah, there's always jobs to do and maintenance to do and fuel to get and all these sort. There's a myriad of jobs to do because everything has to work. Okay, well, let's take a look at all these bits and bobs that have to work. Let's yeah, take a look right. around your Good. boat. Good, we did see it in the video. So can we go inside yeah, the, the main bit where you steer the let's boat? Let's start in the wheelhouse. Okay, lovely, after you. Okay, so it's called a wheelhouse. I guess it because it's got a there we are. Steering That's wheel. why it's called yes. a wheelhouse. This is where I am when we're fishing, and this is where I sort of what my job is to find the fish. Okay. To find the shoal of fish that we can set our net around, and for that I can't switch it on because the, we're nearly in the mud here at the moment. We have a sonar, 
And that's the thing that you saw on the video, I think. Oh, yes. And th yeah. that looks ahead and tells me where the fish are ahead. And it starts off, we start off with a range of about half a mile all the way around us. Wow. Fishing. And then we've got to get the fish just about 30 meters away from us. Right. That's, where, that's the ideal position for us to start setting the net. So we have to creep in quietly. Right, yes, quietly does And then it. once we're ready to set the net, I call to the crew who are back in the back of the boat and they throw the flag over and the net starts going away. Wow. So that's the exciting bit. Yes. It all takes about only a couple of minutes, three or four minutes to get the net set all around the fish. And if wow. we've got it right, then we caught some. Should we take a look at the net? Yes. Come, come on. on. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so here's the net, then I take it, Sam. Yep, here we are. And you see, what it is, we've got all these corks along a rope on the top, and here we are with the net. And you see how fine the mesh is, little tiny meshes, because we don't want the fish to get caught in them. We just want them to hold the fish a bit like my hand and not get stuck. Mm. And this net goes all the way down 30 meters to another rope, and this rope here, you see, it's that heavy. rope there is filled with lead, little pellets of lead, and it's several kilos a metre. And that's what makes the net hang down in a curtain when we set it. And tied to this rope at about 10 metre intervals are these rings. What well, we call them rings, they don't look anything like a ring, do they? But they're clipped on to the, that rope, and then we thread what we call our purse line. Another rope goes through there, and I'll show you that in a minute. So there we are, and when we move the net in and out, or to get it back in the boat, we have to use this machine here. And it's got three rollers and the net weaves in and out of the rollers, because when it comes out of the water it's wet, and it's just far too heavy for yeah, us to handle. That looks amazing, that looks like it could pick quite a heavy load up. Oh that, yes, yeah, it is quite right a strong, quite strong, and we, we wouldn't have a hope of being able to handle it, because when it's wet it's just waste yes. time. Yeah. Time. Should we take a look at that rope? So, what we do, I told you about these rings, that, and this is the rope that we pass through them. And you can see, perhaps, that you can see there on the stern, on the back of the boat, all those rings hung up there. I'll just show you quickly. You see them there? As the net is set and it goes away, each of those rings falls off that bar and the rope goes away with the net. So what we end up with is the net set round in a really big circle, all the corks right around here, net hanging down in the circle, and this rope going through these rings at the bottom of the net. And then what we have to do is to pull this rope in, and we use this winch here to do that, one there and one there. That's great. And we pull the rings right up to the side of the boat, so they're all up there in a great big bunch. And then the net is then like a huge bowl, and hopefully the fish are right in big the middle of the bowl. Big giant, not goldfish bowl, <laughs> sardine bowl. <laughs> and we hope the fish is still right in the middle. Okay. And Basically, that's caught the fish. They're not now, getting anywhere the now. The <laughs> next job now is to get the fish out of that net. And into How the do you do that? Well, what we have to do, that first of all, is to recover the net, which I explained we do with that machine at the back. And we start here and we work all the way round until the, only about 10 metres of corks and net just left in a loop here. And the fish are concentrated right in it. Do you remember mm -hmm. seeing it on the video? Yes, when they're all yes, splashing all together, they're nearly over touching each other. Yes. because they're so concentrated. And then when they're like that, what we do is use this green thing here, which is the, our fish pump. And the, there's something like a very smooth propeller inside it. it. Sucks the fish in the bottom, pumps them out up this pipe here, fish and water together, wow. up the top here, up to this gadget here. And what happens there is it separates the fish from the water. So that only fish come down this pipe, which we untie from here. You say and gentle because it's really important not to damage absolutely. the fish. Absolutely, we can't, it, so. we can't hurt you. We can't bruise the fish. Has got to be as perfect as we can yeah. get it. So it's like a delicate. So it will be. Yeah, it is, <laughs> and it's amazing how how it, how it does it. And I don't really understand how it, it doesn't damage them, but it doesn't. Yeah. Great. And then what we do is use this pipe, which we untie, and then we feed into these insulated tubs. We put about 400 kilos into each one, then we put some ice in. Okay. And then when, because normally when we're fishing, we, we, would, we would have about 30 of these bins on the deck and double stack. Wow. So if we can manage to fill them all, full. then we've done very well yeah. and we're very pleased. <laughs> and our next job is to come in and land them.
because Fantastic. we've caught them at that stage. Great. How fascinating is that, children? Thank you so much, Good. Sam. I'll tell you what, we've learned so much so far from you, Sam. Let's <laughs> find out who has been listening. I have some questions. So let's go to St Thomas's School, uh, where Mrs Westhead's class is waiting. Um, who do you have there, Mrs Westhead, to ask my, answer my first question? All right, I think Vic's going to have a go. Yeah. Lovely. OK, my first question is, when is the sardine season in Cornwall? Um, June and June and February. June to February. That's pretty Spot much on. right, isn't it? Spot, Spot on. on. Well Spot done. On. Well OK, done. my next question. What time of day is best for catching sardines? Night. Night time. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. You have been listening. Uh, and my last question, can you remember one reason why Omega 3s in sardines is so good for you? Oscar's going to answer this question. Um, it's good for your heart, brain and... That's it, I think. That's amazing. Well done. It's good for your heart and for your brain. There you are. They have been listening, the haven't street. they? Yeah. Well done. And sardines are so good for you. Um, have you ever tried a, um, a sardine fish finger, Sam? No. What, how do you no. cook yours? I just, well, I don't cook them. My wife cooks them. <laughs> 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 and I, I like them grilled with just some salt and olive oil on them. OK, so wow. I give them a lovely taste. That sounds lovely. But you may like to try a sardine fish finger because right now, here is how you can make them at home and they're really yummy. Sardines. Catching to cooking. Frozen fish fingers that we buy from the shops usually have cod or haddock in them. These fish usually come from deep water far out in the Atlantic Ocean. They are caught by fishing trawlers that are much bigger than Sam's. But sardines swim much closer to shore, and so a smaller boat like Sam's can be used to catch them. This kind of fishing is called inshore fishing, using smaller nets which are much better for our environment, because it stops something called overfishing. Overfishing is where we take too many fish out of the sea leaving nothing left to catch the next day. Did you know it's really easy to make your own fish fingers using fresh sardines like the ones that Sam catches? You'll need the following ingredients to make eight sardine fish fingers. One egg, 85 grams of breadcrumbs made from day-old bread, four fresh sardines. You can buy fresh sardines whole, you could cut the fish into fillets yourself at home with the help of an adult. But if you don't want to do this yourself, you can ask the fishmonger to do it for you. Once you have your fillets, heat the oven. Next, you need to crack the egg into a shallow dish and whisk it up. Then, get a baking tray and grease it. Or, you could use grease-proof paper. Dip the fish fillets into the egg. Then roll them in the breadcrumbs. Now dip it in the egg again, and back into the breadcrumbs. Then, put it on the baking sheet. When you've dipped all eight of your fillets, put them in the oven and bake for 15 to 20 minutes. They are cooked when the crumbs have gone golden brown. When they are ready, try them in a sandwich with some lovely green salad. How yummy did they look? You are going to love trying those, Sam. You really are. Well, I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're back on dry land and we've left the boat over there. Look, just bobbing along. Um, I think it's about time we found out um, uh, whether you've got any questions for Sam because, yeah. you know, I think there's probably quite a few people there or quite a few children that have these burning questions. Good. So let's go over to all of our schools and, um, and give you an opportunity. So let's go over to uh, Fuller School, first of all, in the Shetland Islands. Miss Smith, do we have a question? Is it hard to catch sardines? Great question. It's, is it hard to catch sardines? Is it, is it hard, yes, Sam? Yes, at times it can be very difficult, particularly at the beginning of the season when they're very sort of um, timid and easily spooked. Oh, but other yeah. times they're easier. So, but I think on average, yes, they are quite hard to catch. They are quite hard to catch. You should catch other fish, the easier ones. <laughs> Great question. Let's go to St Andrew's School now. Miss Riley, do you have anyone with a question? What's the strangest thing you've caught in your net? What a great question. What is the strangest thing you've caught in your net, Sam? Oh my goodness. Um, probably a sunfish. A sunfish? What does a that sunfish. look like? 
Well, it's the most, you wouldn't hardly know it as a fish. It's an odd thing. It's sort of almost round. It's got a tiny little fin at the top. And I think one at the bottom as well. Anyway, you had to lift it out and put it over the side. You put it all back. Mm. Well, yes, it was all right. It didn't <laughs> mind very much, but I think that's probably the oddest thing. A sunfish, <laughs> wow. OK, do we have anyone else, Miss Riley? On average, how many fish do you catch a day? Great question. Um, how, on average, how many fish do you catch a day? Oh, my goodness. Sometimes we only catch, gosh, about half of one of those tubs you saw on the boat. Yeah. That's when it's really, they're very hard to catch then and sometimes we fish them all up. So it might range from, I don't know, a thousand fish up to hundreds of thousands of fish. Wow. So there's huge variation. Yeah, I'm guessing your boat sort of gets weighed down oh, yes. with all that well, fish. When we get to 100,000, that's, that's full up. You can't, And then we yeah. have to come in. Okay, yeah. fantastic. <laughs> do you have someone else, Miss Riley? One last question from you. What do you like about fishing? Great question. Connor wants to know, what do you like about fishing? I think to some extent, the freedom. I've always done it. I like doing it. Um, I don't think you're going to get very rich if you go fishing, mm. but I wouldn't do anything else. Fantastic. And if anybody wants to go fishing, good luck to them. Oh, brilliant. They do you should... sing? Like no, I don't. I, I, <laughs> I don't actually <laughs> sing at all. Okay. <laughs> but I do love fishing. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Great questions from St Andrews. Let's go to St Thomas's now. Have you got any questions for us, Mrs Westhead? How many members do you have on, cr on your crew? What a great question. How many members do you have in your crew, Sam, on your boat? There's three of us. So I work with Barry and with Will, and they each have their jobs to do. And we, and I, just like me, we each have our little areas to do. And so we, but we all work as a team. And, and you have to get on, don't you? We have to get on and we have to be absolutely rely on each other or it won't work. So we each know what we have to do and we do it. Teamwork at its yes, best. Yes, it's very much. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mrs Westhead, have we got somebody else in your class? Do you work all night? That's a really good question because I was thinking that. Um, do you work all night? Sometimes, sometimes. If we can catch what we've got to catch because we talk to the factory and they may say they want one bin or they may want all, as many as they can get. Um, if we're lucky, we can get back within a couple of hours because we only fish within a mile or two of Newlyn. Okay. So. And, but other times it'll take us all night. We may have to set that net five or six times in order to catch. And, and you we have to go to bed in the day, I'm guessing. So we, we go out in its daylight and we come back in its daylight. Oh, gosh. So then we have to go to sleep a bit in the day. In the daytime, That's yes, right. yes. Uh, one more question from your class, Mrs Westhead. What's the biggest fish you've ever caught? What a great question. I want to know this one. What is the biggest fish you've ever caught? Because the net is what we do, you know, the, we're catching sardines. We haven't actually caught a very big fish with this sort of fishing. For well, many, many, many years, I would have caught a big shark somewhere <gasps> on the line. A big shark? A big shark, but not with this net. And, and did you bring it onto your boat or? Uh, I shouldn't think so. No, just like, <laughs> cut the line, off just you go. Just cut the line and let it go, yeah. Fantastic, thank you so much for all your questions. That was brilliant, wasn't it, Sam? It was, good Such questions. Good, yeah, very, yeah. very good questions. Right, it's time to take a closer look at sardines now, don't you think? You should have sardines in your classroom, so pass the bowls around. And while you do that, should we go and take a look at yeah, what you've on. got, Sam? Yep, yeah, come on. Wow, you've wow. got a lot of fish here. <laughs> I should think we have. So I'm. I think these are we sardines, are. aren't Here they? Yeah, this is the sardine, this is what we catch. And that's about the size of the fish we catch. Sometimes they're a bit bigger, sometimes they're a little bit smaller, but yeah. that's the size we're looking for. Here you see the eye and the gills. Yeah. And these got big, big scales on them, about the size of the, your little fingernail. Quite okay. big scales for such a little small fish. Oh yeah, and they come off, they're like see-through. And they're almost armour-plated. Yeah. See? And they're very see-through. Amazing. Yeah. And that's what protects the fish. That's great. So there we are. And you can fillet them and Lovely so on, sardines. as you've seen very, very tasty. with your cooking. What else do we, do we have here well, then? Well, look at all these fish. And all these fish are caught around here and landed in Newland. So different boats, all, we, all these boats you see in the background mm -hmm. here, all these boats catch different fish. Here we've got a hake, catch a lot of hake here in Newland. Lovely fish to eat. Over here we've got a turbot, flat fish, do you see? Yeah. Do you see it's just... Completely flat. Completely flat, yeah. You see, whereas the hake and so on are round fish. 
See? Ooh. Completely different shape. Yeah. That lives down on the bottom of the sea. Okay. This lives up a little bit. And they would all taste completely different, all of these? Uh, all they? of them. And there's some of them are not very, you may well know, not know what some of them are, but they're lovely fish to eat. crabs down there. Yep, we have some I'm crabs, sure. don't yep, we? You see crab. There's a spider they're crab. They're really big, aren't they, for crabs? Yep. <laughs> lovely fish to eat. Gurnets. You won't have seen probably very many of them. Lo very, people are just beginning to eat them now. Really good okay. fish. And good I think fish. people may recognise this more with a, with a batter on, like in a squid. ring. There we have the squid. Do you see? I'll lift one up so you can see it. Because this is how they make calamari, the, isn't it? There you are. See the tentacles? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> she says standing they do back. Is, <laughs> that turns into calamari, which you've probably had with breadcrumbs on. Yes. Lovely thing to eat. Very, Excellent very fish. amazing. It's so good. So have you are. eaten all these before yourself? Yes, I think just about every one. Yep. Okay. Yep. And yep. they're all different. I'm loving these fish. Let's see what our schools think of the fish now yes, as well and what you thought of the sardines. Let's go over to uh, Fuller School. What did you make of this fish and the sardines in your classroom? I thought they were bigger. Oh, OK. Um, um, Miss Miss Class thought that these sardines were going to be bigger. No, no, no. No, no there's no, so no, many big fish, but sardines are small. That big. They don't grow much bigger than that. Yeah. And sometimes you can catch them when they're much smaller. Let's go over to St Andrews now and uh, Miss Riley's class. What did you make of the sardines and, and the fish we've got here? Some of them are curved. Some of them are curved. Well, they are, yeah. aren't they? <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> Most of them swim straight and they're put down curved, actually. They curl. So, oh, like they look to, yeah, to look good. Yeah, to look good. But. OK, let's go over to St Thomas's, um, to Mrs Westhead's class. What did you make of the fish? We thought they were going to be smaller. That's, that is such a good point, Sam. They thought that they were going to be smaller, the fish. Oh, no, no. They're, some of the fish that are caught here would be bigger than that. There are about 30 different species there. Yeah. And sometimes on the market here, you would get it as many as 40 different yeah. sorts. That's, the fishing is, that's one of the characteristics of the fishing here. We catch lots of different sorts of fish. I guess a lot of people are used to sardines in like little cans or, yes. you know, if you get them in the supermarket in cans, yeah. then they, they do look like they're quite small, don't yeah. they? No, no, are we going to eat some of this tonight? Yeah? I don't know whether you are. <laughs> <laughs> I think some of our schools are. Are you going to give the, uh, the fish fingers a go? I think they will be. I think be. I'm going to. Or they I'm will going, be. I'm going to see if I get We've almost come to the end this online field trip. Um, one last question for you though, what's yeah. the best thing about being a fisherman? I think the freedom, probably. Yeah. It's not nice all the time. It sometimes it's really horrible. But the good times are better than the they, they make up for the bad ones. It beats sitting behind a desk, doesn't oh, it? Oh yes, I don't think I could do that. Yeah. Thank oh, yeah. you so much. You've taught us so much today, Sam. It's been it's brilliant. Pleasure. Really good to be here dockside with you and on the boat as well. We have learned um, all about the sardine se uh, season, about fishing at night, and I didn't know that, uh, using a sonar to catch the fish, which is very, very important indeed, and just how good they are for us. And of course, we've even taught Sam a fish finger recipe. <laughs> we've taught you something at least. <laughs> okay. Hey, don't forget if you'd like to take part in a field trip going to a farm or to a, a factory um, then all the details are online right now as well all you need to do is just get in touch and you could be having lots of fun like the children you can see right now at a farm to form field trip so do get in touch and we'll see you next time from Cornwall goodbye goodbye Fuller School goodbye St Andrews and goodbye St Thomas